What is the highest level of closeness to Allah? Do you know? Have you thought about it? Have you been told? Have you been taught? Did you dig it up and check? I can tell it to you now. It's called Ar-Ridha Bil Qada. To be happy at the decree of Allah. Then you've arrived at a level higher than the rest of the people. Ar-Ridha Bil Qada. When you say the term Radi, Radi means to be happy, to be okay. I might not be excited with the fact that someone passed away, but I'm happy with the decree of Allah. I'm sad at the fact that as a human being, I'm going to miss my husband or my wife or my child or my brother or my parent. As a human being, I, I will cry. It's normal to cry. It's good to shed tears. It's very healthy to shed tears, even as a believing female or a male. It does not mean that your Iman is weak because you are crying. Not at all. You're allowed to cry. The Prophet ﷺ shed tears upon the loss of Ibrahim, his son. And when he was asked, what is this, O Messenger? He says, Innama hiya rahmatun ja'alahallahu fi ibadihi ruhama. This is a mercy that Allah has placed in the hearts of those who are merciful. I'm not crying because I'm questioning the decree of Allah. This is my son. I'm crying because we are going to be separated for a short time. That's the reason. I'm going to miss him, in other words. Wa he said, the Prophet says, and we are saddened at the separation from you, O Ibrahim, addressing his son, who had just passed away in, in his infancy. Subhanallah. So, my beloved sisters, take it in your stride. The only thing that's going to bring comfort to your heart, the only thing is the remembrance of Allah. There's nothing else that can bring comfort to your heart besides the remembrance of Allah and the gifts that Allah bestows upon you. Things could have been worse, like I said. So what is the remembrance of Allah? Normally when we say dhikr of Allah, we tend to forget that afdalul dhikri tilawatul Qur'an. The best of dhikr is the recitation of the Quran. I've been promoting a challenge to say, start your day with a few words of the Quran. Start your day with one verse of the Quran. See how your life changes. Start your day with five minutes of the Quran, 10 minutes of the Quran. Notice I'm not telling you how many pages. I'm telling you how many minutes because time is precious. But trust me, the word of Allah is the most precious. There is no gift that you can give yourself better than the recitation of the word of Allah and getting close to Allah.